Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where this is basically just a video of me talking. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to uh, center on my fleet here. I'm just going to leave this fleet to do its own thing. And we can uh, kind of watch the action as it happens. So why am I making this video? Well, uh, if you have been following Ultimate Admiral, uh, you maybe saw that yesterday, that was on the 25th of January 2023, uh, the game left Steam Early Access. And this has come as a surprise uh, to many of those of us who follow the game. And, well, <laughs> as the slightly clickbaity click uh, title uh, would indicate for the video, um, a lot of players are not very happy with this. They think it is a big mistake. And right off the bat, I want to say I kind of agree. But I probably don't agree in the way you might expect. So there's been a lot of angry uh, comments on the forums, on the Steam page. Uh, there's been a lot of negative reviews. In fact, I checked just before starting to record this. Um, if you look at the reviews on Steam for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, uh, it says mostly positive, but recent reviews are mixed. And they certainly are. There's quite a lot of negative reviews, uh, some very in-depth, some more reactionary. Um, and I totally understand why. Because if you um, if you say no, the game is the game is is ready. Where it's it, the product is is done it's ready to be sold that doesn't necessarily mean it's finished but it's it's good enough to go well that sets certain expectations and a lot of us who have played the game for a while did not think that the game was was really ready for that um that's a very very commonly held sentiment now it's not as simple and nothing ever is it's not as <laughs> simple as it first appears though and I've been doing a bit of digging and I have um, tried to find out what's been going on to the best of my abilities um, and I've been looking at the forums I've been looking at the official discord uh, the steam page and things like that to try and find out what's going on and uh, you will not receive official confirmation of this from anyone uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that so I think it's fair to say the Dreadnoughts team probably did not agree with this decision. Um, I seriously doubt the Dreadnoughts team who really love their game and they really want to make it great, I fully believe that, um, were probably not very happy about this. And I've been in a situation like this and I can tell you it sucks because you tell your boss or bosses that you know, the my game isn't ready. The game's not ready to go full release. If we go full release, we're going to get a lot of negative feedback and it's going to be a train wreck and I'm going to have to deal with it and I don't want to have to deal with a lot of angry fans. Um, I just want to make the game great. Please can we have more time? Um, and I've said it before in videos, I thought back in December it needed about a year. So yeah, end of 2023, can we can we have that long before we leave Steam Early Access, please? If we leave now, we're going to get a whole pile of abuse. Um, and you know full well when you're saying this that you are going like you're going to be the one that's going to have to defend this decision, even though you don't agree with it. And I'm pretty sure that someone at uh, Game Labs who's not part of the UAD team, but is beyond them, or possibly someone at Stillfront, um, putting pressure on someone at Game Labs to, to, to... I'm pretty sure this is a no, release the game. And that's almost certainly a financial thing. Um, game Labs, in case you didn't know, is owned by Stillfront Group. I'm going to hazard a guess that there is some sort of did you release a game in Q1 2023? Yes, yes we did. We released Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's no longer in early access. It's fully released. Great! 
says still front here is a big sack of money for you to continue developing all the rest of your stuff because you've proven you can deliver and that it will be on that level and i totally understand that i just think it's a bit of a fr from a player's point of view it's not a good decision and uh, i totally understand why people are are pretty annoyed um however i think on a bigger scale, and I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get comments being like, oh, he's a shill. Uh, no, uh, I'm not. Um, it's just my opinion. All that has really changed is a label. Because the dev team isn't hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, as far as I know, it is has the same staffing. There's no changes there. They have publicly committed to another six months minimum of support uh, I suspect they want a lot longer than that multiple years in in fact um, and there are the devs are aware there are a number of things that are not done they're not finished they're not in the game but the things they said at the start of the early access program would be in the game are technically in the game yeah sure they might not work or they might need a lot of polish or they're unbalanced or they don't work quite the way players were expecting them to <coughs> share designs um <laughs> but they are there they exist they can be refined they're not missing so they you know on that level they have met their expectations and i expect to see that argument rolled out quite a lot you know, we did what we said we were going to do. Okay, but also, it kind of, it does kind of feel going to leave a bad taste in players' mouths. Um, and yeah, if you're angry, you've every right to be. But all that has really changed is a label. The game's still going to be developed, as far as I know. Um, and they know that there are issues and things that should be in the game that aren't and I'm just going to list some some of these come from um, the developers themselves and some come from some of the testers uh, who have a little bit of inside knowledge so um, the environment so at the moment it looks pretty nice it's pretty pretty average day here on the sea uh, but if you hover it actually this does match up but often this does not match up the weather um, little weather thing up here you know you'll be sailing around thinking oh the weather's great and then you see <laughs> well actually it's the middle of a storm okay what's going on there that is uh, something that has I think for a long time been a planned thing to add but I understand it is complicated and it is mostly aesthetic so um, an immersion based it's not mechanical so I can understand why it's on a back burner but that's definitely one thing um, coastal defense uh, and coast whoa holy shit sorry um, <laughs> oh Jesus I am doing this using the balance mod and I freaking love the balance mod look at that 17.1 inch hits CA question mark question mark for 69,000 damage nice okay um, back to back to what I was talking about um, the, the a formation editor total war style has been mentioned as a thing so this getting a rework please because it's still weird as anything um, they reckon that the game's around about 95 percent complete um, in terms of features and I'd agree with that but you know that's that's a lot um, you know saying a feature is complete well yeah I mean the penetration system is complete it's there it works sort of but there are issues with it in terms of balancing and polish that doesn't mean it's not complete if you see what I mean, in in developer speak, like a system is there. There is a formation system. Yeah, you might 
think that it's not a very good formation system and it might frustrate you. Fair enough, but it is there, it is complete, and that's what you're going to get back if you just say, oh, the, you know, it's, it's not done. Well, it is done, but it's not finished. <laughs> it's a semantic point. Um, and I think the the dev team themselves are fully aware of all the comments that people are making and they will know it and they will be upset at the moment I reckon if, if I was to guess the mood of the developers at the moment it would be upset because they will have seen this coming um, you know they, they will have they will know that a, a storm of negative comments was coming their way and yeah <laughs> anyway uh, other things that were promised um, there were a few uh, let me find them so uh, hulls uh, we know there are hulls missing in the game you can kind of see where they are um, in the tech trees through where there's kind of question mark however the developers have also said after all this came out we are going to add more hulls and superstructures and models in general so they know they're going to do that um, they also mentioned the weather system UI overhaul graphics uh, fixings um, and there was something else as well they mentioned the USS Texas specifically as a whole that was going to come in uh, they mentioned as well that ah here it is there's also a plan an ongoing work to add the united states of america british and generic cruisers for this period and the period that uh, nick on the forums was talking about was 1920 to 1940 hopefully lots of light cruisers because that's a really uh, under underwhelming area at the moment um so so there are plans and i think for the developers their plans have not changed they're still going to be adding the things they were going to be adding <laughs> anyway um they they already know what they're doing they already have a timeline they already know what they want and they probably have about a year's worth of work planned out that hasn't changed with the steam uh full release what will have changed though is players expectations and particularly new players if you're a new player to ultimate admiral and you're watching this video uh, and you picked up the game because you saw it it's full release and you, there's plenty of people who just won't buy early access games i totally understand that you pick up dreadnoughts and you go well, what is this because it still feels like an early access game in a lot of respects i i, I get that um, and maybe you are one of the people who, who's, who's upset or angry or annoyed. If you are, direct your anger usefully. So the developers, I reckon, have been served a shit sandwich that they're expected to tell you is absolutely delicious even though they know full well it isn't, and they, they said that it wasn't. Um, they are going to be having a rough time of it at the moment. Um, direct your anger where it should be, which is the kind of business side of computer games um, and all this sort of thing. If you've never watched it, uh, if you if you think, well, what, is, what is he talking about? Just, you know, just refuse, do what you want. Um, if you've never seen CGP Grey's The Rules for Rulers, and uh, the very real consequences it has in all sorts of organizations game development studios included um give it a watch i'll put a link in the description um yeah i i totally understand business pressures they're a thing there's nothing you can do about it hot damn um <laughs> wasn't expecting the battle to end um yeah have a look, see, sleep on it. Um, if you want to leave a negative review on Steam, by all means, if that's your opinion, do. Um, I don't. I was going to review the game when it was fully released, but 
to me this is this is not a full, this is not the the actual full release this is this is the change of a label um there's still a lot more to do in the game i do believe slash hope that the game will actually be properly finished as the players expect and it's a bit of a dark time for dreadnoughts just now um uh, i know a lot of people are very upset but i don't intend on dropping the game uh, i will still be covering the us campaign i still have several countries i've not done a campaign for such as spain or china um i will continue to feature mods i'll continue to feature exploits that's been quite fun um by the way if you're the developers and you've, you've gotten this far through the video uh, which i doubt somehow but uh yeah the the exploit videos are not me having a go uh, i i love the game i want the game to succeed I want the game to do well. I don't think this is a step in the right direction in terms of that. Um, I think I think it's a bit of a a bit of a retrograde step, if I'm honest. But the game itself, particularly if you're using Admiral Snack Bar's rebalance mod as I was today, is is fun. Like it is. I enjoy playing it, I enjoy recording it, I enjoy making content for you, the viewers, about it. Um but let me know. Let me know in the comments. What do you what do you what do you think of this? Uh, are you just angry? Are you annoyed? Do you think it's a mistake? Um, do you agree with me that you know? Yeah, the label has changed and it's a business thing, but you know the game will continue to evolve, and they have made huge progress between one hundred and nine, which I was pretty disappointed with, to one hundred and ten, which is vastly superior um and you know if we are coming to the end of ultimate admiral dreadnought's development cycle what is next if for instance <laughs> i come back in a year's time and they say you know we're all done uh, the game's totally finished now but we're gonna release a dlc how would you feel about that and no, I don't have any idea if they're actually planning on that, but potentially that is a way that um, game companies go. They release kind of a DLC on a regular basis to keep games going. Uh, if that's is is that something you would approve of? Would you would you pay more if you own Dreadnoughts to see continued development um, and things like that? Anyway, really interested to see how you, how you guys are thinking about dreadnoughts at the moment and uh, i hope to see you again very soon for some more regular content bye for now